Jeffrey Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, was one of the most deadly serial killers in the world. In the span of 14 years, he ate, mutilated, and killed 17 young men. He eventually got caught when one of his victims escaped and helped the police track down the murderer. Police discovered photos of some of Dahmer's prior killings. He was then sentenced to 16 life terms for the murders and was killed after being in prison for two years. And he's not the only serial killer. Today on Around the World, we're talking about the deadliest serial killers. Which one would you have feared the most? David Richard Berkowitz, AKA the Son of Sam and 44 caliber killer, was found guilty of killing six people and seriously injuring seven more. He committed his crimes from 1976 to 1977 in New York. During questioning, Berkowitz said that Sam, a neighbor, and his black Labrador retriever had given him orders to carry out the crimes. Bad boy. About five prostitutes on the streets of London fell victim to Jack the Ripper's sharp knife in 1888. The authorities believe Jack had in-depth knowledge of human anatomy from the way he mutilated the bodies. Numerous investigations have claimed to have strong evidence of the horrific killer's identity, but the real name and motives remain a mystery. Some people believe that Mr. Holmes was the first American serial killer. No, he's not the one you're thinking of. Henry Howard Holmes, whose real name was Herman Mudgett, opened a three-story hotel in Chicago. It became a real house of horrors with torture rooms and secret trap doors. He gassed anyone who was there, tormented them on operating tables, and burned their remains. Although Mikhail Popkov seemed an ideal husband and parent, from 1992 to 2017, he lived a double life as a serial killer in Angarsk, Siberia, Russia. While on duty as a police officer, he offered to give women rides and then killed them with a hammer and an axe. He admitted to having a cleaning mission and wanted to rid the population of immoral women. Popkov received a life sentence for murdering 78 people. We're glad you were not a victim of the Night Stalker. His real name was Richard Ramirez. In the mid-1980s, he became famous for breaking into houses in Los Angeles and murdering his victims. He got sentenced to death for 13 counts of murder, 5 attempted murders, 11 sexual assaults, and 14 burglaries. He died of cancer while awaiting his execution. Ted Bundy was notorious for kidnapping, raping, and dismembering his victims. After escaping twice from the police, he was finally caught in 1978, found guilty, and sentenced to death in the electric chair in 1989. Bundy confessed to killing 30 women, but that could be an understatement. The real number could be much higher. Chicago's killer clown was John Wayne Gacy. Police found all of his victims buried beneath his house in a four-foot crawlspace and charged him with 33 counts of murder. He often enticed his victims with the promise of a job or some other pretext before capturing, assaulting, or torturing them. Yeah, I don't want any more job offers from strangers. In the US, handguns are the most common murder weapon, accounting for 8,029 homicides in 2020. Other types of firearms were in second place that year with 4,863 cases. One of Russia's most famous serial killers was Andrei Chikatilo. It's known that he killed and stabbed his victims with a knife to experience a high. His youngest victim was only nine years old. Chikatilo was tried for 53 murders and confessed to 56. That earned him the death sentence, and a firing squad executed him in 1994. Pakistani pedophile Javed Iqbal confessed to the brutal killings of 100 boys. His case gained worldwide attention when the judge sentenced him to death in a way that mirrored how Iqbal tortured and murdered his victims. However, officially, he died by suicide before the sentence could be carried out. Don't accept soft drinks or money from strangers, as one of them could be a maniac like Colombia's Luis Garavito. In the 1990s, he lured homeless and orphaned boys, then tortured and killed them. He confessed to 140 killings and was convicted of 189 murders. The judge sentenced him to 835 years in jail. In 24 years, Harold Shipman, also known as Dr. Death, killed 236 people in London. From 1972 to 1998, he worked as a doctor but injected lethal amounts of analgesics into his victims. Shipman was found guilty in 2000 and given a life sentence. However, in 2004, he died by suicide in jail. Pedro Lopez was sexually abused by other inmates while serving time for auto theft. Later, he retaliated by killing them. He admitted to 240 homicides in Colombia and Peru and was accused of killing 110 girls in Ecuador. The judge gave him the maximum sentence of 16 years, and he was released two years early in 1994 for good behavior. 
Then he was deported to his native Colombia, declared legally insane, and sent to a hospital psychiatric unit. And to find out where these criminals can serve their sentence, check out our video on the most dangerous prisons, next on Around the World.